People, I want you to know that a lot of people want the narcissist head. Because they grow on deceiving people. And understand that everyone is not on their spiritual journey. And everyone is not getting the courage to walk away and stay away and reach for enlightenment. Everybody is not doing that. Some well-meaning people are not doing that right now. A lot of people want revenge because they're so hurt, so beaten down, so upset, so rageful of the pain that the narcissist has put them through. You don't know what these people are doing behind the scenes. They go around leaving a trail of tears in their path. And understand people, some people want revenge on the narcissist. And that is their karma. That is the narcissist's karma. Because if you piss people off to the point like that, piss so many people off, people, there are some people that will not wait on enlightenment. They're not trying to get courage to walk away. They're going to attack the narcissist. So it is important that you get the courage to walk away and stay away so that you do not incur the narcissist's karma. People end up dead in these relationships, people, because people are after the narcissist and understand that sometimes if people can't get to the narcissist, they will get to you because you're standing next to them. So in their revengeful state, in their vengeful state, when they want vengeance, anyone will do. And they believe that since you're standing next to the narcissist, well, it's fair game because they believe that. Birds of a feather flock together. And if you're standing there, then you're probably like them. And you could be a very well-meaning person, but you're attached to an evil person, an evildoer that has been going around messing with a lot of people. And they will attack you if they can't get to the narcissist. So it is when I, when I say here that you have no business in the third dimension, I mean exactly that. When I say that you need to get the courage to walk away and stay away, I mean exactly that. You're playing around with demons. And again, if people that the narcissists have harmed are in a state of vengeance, they're not thinking rationally or logically. Vengeance is in the third dimension, people. That is below the level of rational thinking. And these people have been harmed to the point where they're going to lash out. And if they can't get to the narcissist people, they will attack you for compensation. Because that energy, that vengeful energy has to go somewhere. So stay safe, stay vigilant, do what you need to do to get the courage to go no contact or as low contact as you possibly can. Do not hang around these individuals. They will not protect you. You think if somebody is coming to attack the narcissist, they're going to protect you? Narcissists are cowards. They're stuck in the third dimension. They do not have access to courage. They're going to sell you out. Narcissists are not there to protect you, people. They're there to protect themselves only. They're obsessed with themselves only. They don't care about you. And that's a very bitter pill to swallow. Whatever it is that you saw on day zero was a mask. That green mask that Jim Carrey wears playing Stanley Ipkiss in the mask. It was false. It was fake. The true spirit of the narcissist is what you saw in the devalue and the discard. That is the true them when they can drop the mask and they say, finally, I can take this off and be myself. Because they hate being nice to you. They don't like you. And understand again, people, that these people go, go around deceiving a lot of people. It's not just you. And a lot of people want the narcissist's head. And if they can't get the narcissist's head, well, your head will do. Because they're in a state of vengeance. And vengeance is a very dangerous energy. It is oftentimes uncontrollable. A lot of you... Two were in a vengeful state after the relationship. And how can I get back at the narcissist? What can I do? Yeah, that's vengeance right there because they've pulled you down into the third dimension. Now you're thinking irrationally. You're thinking emotionally because you do not have access to rational thinking in the third dimension, people. And there are some people that are stuck there still because the narcissist screwed them over. 
and they want to get back at the narcissist. So stay aware, stay vigilant, protect yourself. And you do this by getting the courage to walk away and stay away. Again, go no contact, blow the bridge up completely or go as little contact as you possibly can. If you have kids with the narcissist, you know, you may have assets that you're still separating and so on where you have to deal with them. But again, people protect yourself. The narcissist is not going to protect you. The narcissist only cares about themselves. That is the core thing about narcissism. Narcissus from Greek mythology was obsessed with the reflection that he saw in the, in the pool, in the puddle, in the river. He was obsessed with his reflection, the false self. That's all they care about, their image, their fake image, the fake masks that they wear. They are not there to protect you. So it is important that you understand that and you do what you can do to protect yourself, protect your friends, protect your family, protect your kids as best as you possibly can against these individuals. So that really is the quick message for today. So ensure that you're subscribed for more content. Ensure that you're liking these videos. Ensure that you're sharing these videos with someone that you think may need them. She has a name. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.